Hi all, in this video, let's learn about conditional rendering in ReactJS. What is meant by conditional rendering? It means it is an ability to render different UI components based on a condition. So let's see that with an example and also we'll discuss about the use cases of this conditional rendering as well. Let's start. So for example, this is a greeting component. Okay, in this greeting component, we have two more components we have used that is user component and guest component. Okay, based on a condition, okay, based on a condition. So, whether if it is whether the user is logged in, we'll be showing this user greeting component. If it is not logged in, then we'll show this guest component. See, based upon this condition, based upon this property. It can be a property, it can be a state, it can be any of the variable. The condition can be anything, okay? But based on this condition you are rendering, you are making a decision which component should be shown or which component should not be shown, okay? Fine, so let, let me show you. This greeting component is used in this app.js. Here, when you pass this is logged in as a false, okay? Based on this condition, so it goes here. And now when is logged in, you have false. So when it is false, okay, this component will not render. It means you are rendering the guest greeting component. If the user is logged in, we'll be showing this component. So this is what mean by conditional rendering. Based on a condition, you are rendering the required component or not. So there will be two types of rendering conditions rendering here. See, so based on this condition, you are rendering this component. If this is false, you will render this component. So this is like this is a situation where you need to use this type of things because if you expect two outcomes, so based on a condition, you are expecting two outcomes, then you need to go with the if and else. Okay, if this is true, you want this. If it is not true, you want this. In this type of situations, you'll go with the if, if and else operation. If not, you can same thing you can also do with the ternary operator as well let me show that before that let me show you the output so we are passing this is logged in as false so now you'll be getting as a this user this component please sign up will be the component we'll be getting so let's see so please sign up we got so let me pass this property as a true so in fact if you are passing true, you no need to mention this flower basis directly if you pass a props that will taken as a true so even though i'm um, passing this as a true now so if it is true then you will be getting the user creating component so let's see that so let me refresh it so yes see welcome back we got that component so like this you need to render the component which is really essential for you with the help of this conditional rendering you can control the different parts of the application and based on the conditions you can showcase what is needed and what is not needed so fine let me comment this now so I will show you this, how to apply this with the help of the ternary operator. So the same thing. So just will be using the is logged in here. If this is true, I will be using the greater component. If it is false, I will be using the guest component. So the outcome would be the same, but the way we have used this is in a different way. Okay, neither the if or else, or the ternary operator you can use but the purpose of using this is like if you want if you need a situation where based on a condition you want to show this component or based on if it is false you want to show this component then you need to go with the if else or the ternary operator fine so let me comment this one as well so this is one situation and let me explain you one more situation we'll be getting some situations where if the condition is true then you will show the component if not you no need to show the component Okay, it's not like if else, okay, if you only have if the condition like, for example, if is logged in is true. So in our case, we can say that is loading. So most of the cases is loading is true, then you load a loader component, I will be using a loader component. Okay. If the component is loading, so if this is true, okay, if this is true, then only this component would be loaded. If this is not true, this component will not load. This is a situation where you want only one outcome. Based on this condition, you will be showing this. Or if not, this condition is false, you don't want to show any of the component. In that type of situations, you need to use this shorthand circuit operator. Okay. If you want to showcase two components, two outcomes you are expected based on a condition, so then you need to go with if else or the ternary operator. If you have if you need only one outcome, then you need to go with the shorthand operator 
operator so based upon this condition is true then only this component would be loaded if not it will not load generally in what situations we use this is like whenever the component is loading okay then we'll see this as is loading okay if the component is is loading is false so then we'll be showing we'll not show this component when this is completed then we'll be showing this component okay like this we'll be using not here and when the loading of the loading symbol is done then we'll be showing this component so this is how we'll be implementing the conditional rendering the react js fine now let's understand the use cases of this conditional rendering the first use case is you can hide and show the components which you want okay and you can use this for the authentication and the authorization as well okay for example let me comment them and uh, i will showcase you the first thing is like you can show whatever the component you want or you can hide whatever the component you want based on the conditions okay the second thing is you can authenticate the users if the user is not authenticated then you will send them him back to the login page okay if he is authenticated you will be showing the page you can also use this conditional rendering there and also the authorization if the user has a proper role then show him that component if not you no need to show him that component or that page okay and also the toggling function so depending upon like uh, you will be having the dark mode and light mode as well right for these situations also you can use this conditional rendering clear hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos and we have the rethinking ui this is our channel so we have a we'll be doing a lot of videos on javascript react js and the front end domain so have a look at this channel if you like it please subscribe thank you thanks for watching